Hello everyone, this is Simmer Erin, and today I'm going to tell you a little bit about my philosophy on working on your own timeline. So basically, this is a very hypocritical video because this is something I struggle with very greatly, and that's kind of comparing yourself to others in terms of where you are in your life, whether it's about your career, your relationships, your finances, things like that. For me, it's definitely career in finances, especially career more than anything. So when I was younger, I had this idea of how my life would go, and maybe a lot of us do, and maybe it came a lot from pressure from my family and just how I was grown up, and you know, but I had this idea, okay? So I went through high school. I was not a straight A student, but I got a lot of A's. I got A's and, you know, like a couple of B's. I was an honor student. And I said, okay, I'm going to go to college. I'm going to run a varsity cross country at college. And then I'm going to immediately later right after that, go into grad school. And immediately after that, I'm going to become a professor. Yeah. Do you think it went that way? It did not go that way. So in fact, I, went to college as I had planned, but I was not ready to go to college. I was mentally and physically ill, and I ended up going for a single semester. I did finish out the semester. In fact, I finished out the semester. I was doing essays in my hospital bed, and then I took a little break. I took a single course at a college, and I did do summer courses and on and on and again and again. I would go to school and I would have to take medical leave again and again. I did eventually make it through my bachelor's degree, which is great. The last year I was there the full year and that was wonderful because I decided to actually seek higher treatment and I took a little bit better care of myself. And by taking that time to do that, I was actually able to succeed and get for college more successfully than I was when I was trying to just push myself and to go for it because I felt like I had to be on the same timetable as everyone else and it was really hard for me. Then the master's program thing. So I applied to a bunch of master's programs, some MFAs and some regular masters and I got into two or three I believe and I didn't get funding and it got into June and I was like I can't go without funding. I'm not gonna put myself in more debt or you have student loans. So I just, I, I tried to make peace and I said, you know what, it's going to be what it's going to be. And you know what, what's weird about this? The instant I made peace with it, I got into a master's program, actually my, the place I had gone for my bachelor's degree. So I barely got in, something weird must have happened, someone must have rejected it at the last minute. I got in. I went for my master's program, <laughs> was okay, and now I'm back into that funk, right? Because I've been out of my master's program for about like two and a half years, I think. It, it, I graduated at a weird time. And I've applied now two rounds of PhD programs. I have gone into some schools, not this time, but last time I did get into some schools. But unfortunately, for various reasons, it didn't work out with funding and living situations. And I know that I don't regret taking that offer, but kind of right now, it feels like it because like... I don't think I got into any PhD programs this time, so you know, you always second guess yourself and say, did I do this right? But my point in telling you this whole story is, I'm kind of right in that place right now again where I'm like, I'm not where I should be, like other people are already in a PhD program or other people might already be professors, which isn't that likely because, you know, you're pretty young if you're still in your 20s and you're a professor, it can happen, but it's unlikely. But my point of this whole story is, if any of you guys are feeling like I am, and you're feeling like I'm not in the career path I want to be yet, I don't have this relationship, I don't know, it might be something different for you guys, it might be, you know, it's different for everyone. Just remember that sometimes there's a reason these things happen this way, sometimes you end up not even going on the career path. Now for me, I really hope that's not true, but sometimes things work out for the better. Now, am I being hypocritical when I do this video? Absolutely I am. But I hope that sharing my story has kind of helped you guys because like I said, like the whole college experience and you know, having just a direct path, it's great to have motivation, it's great to have a direct path, but it's also good to be able to be flexible and to take a step back, to take care of yourself. And you know, throughout that whole experience, I do think I grew. I do think I grew emotionally and I really do think I got a more nuanced perspective on life and what's important 
and constantly achieving stuff or having to be down a certain path because that's what people envision or that's what you envision. You know, keep working on your goals, keep working on your dreams, but sometimes there's a reason for things and sometimes things just work out in different ways and it's not necessarily better. It, it can be and it's not necessarily worse, but it's just different. And so I'm trying to make peace with that and if any of you guys feel like you're really struggling with your career, your relationships or whatever, and you feel like you're just not on someone else's timetable, remember, we all achieve things, we all do things at different paces, and it just depends, right? Some people, for example, a, <laughs> I really want to get a novel published, another one of my things. You know, I always look at like some people like Christopher Paolini, you know, he, he published his first novel at like, he was like in his teens. But you know, there's also people like, like Harper Lee, who wrote To Kill a Mockingbird, and she published till she was a little bit older, and there's some people that didn't get published till they're in the 80s, and you know, so just keep at it, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna let you go because I think I am rambling. I do hope this was helpful for any of you guys. And if you don't already, please feel free to follow me on Twitter because I would love to connect with you there. Okay, guys, let me know any of your thoughts, your comments below, and I'll let you go. Bye.